everybody, Moonstone Island just got an update. Both normal content and stuff is for the holiday! So if you're lazy to read the patch notes or just need some motivation to buy or open the game, then here's a preview on the 6 new stuffs in Moonstone Island to hype you up. Lego! Number 1. New Spirits We got 5 new ice spirits, and they are the following. Whistler, a cutie penguin that gives 20% more XP from battles when it's snowing. And next is Hiji. Hiji? 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 Well, I don't know. Let's just call it Cute Bear. Having this baby on your party will let your banished spirits to still gain XP after a battle. It's really awesome to have this on the early game or when you're raising a newborn spirit the normal way. Like without using XP plants and just letting them die in the wild. You know, normal stuffs. I am good at raising children. We also have this sleepy fella called Honk Shoe. Am I saying that right? But I am a bit tilted at its passive because it says that it has a chance to gain a level when you go to bed before midnight. But seriously, what percentage are we talking about here? How sure is the chance? I need numbers! And moving on, we also got Icy. It looks a little bit creepy, but if you ever want to experiment on ice builds, then this one is promising. Apart from a random card pick at the beginning of the battle, this fella gives two additional cards from its deck at the beginning of combat. And lastly, we also got Yiti! Any sharp that is applied to this dude is double, so I think that this one got potential. Number 2. Spirit Storage You can now head over to Paolo to upgrade your barn and make it twice as large, like literally twice as large as the previous fully expanded barn. And if you like to go crazy on taming and have nowhere to put all of those spirits, then you can also store spirits at the science center now, free of charge. The spirits don't need to eat, but of course, you also won't get spirit poop. That sounds fair. Number 3. We also get to spice up our house and get festive with its new decorations. For the free version, we have those icicle garlands, presents, snow globes, Christmas lights, roasted um, bird brain, this Christmas arc, a fire pit, and cute gingerbread people. There's also a DLC if you want even more, which you can check out in the description. Number 4. Shop Update Paolo and Farah now sells coal, wood, and stone. If you're lazy to farm materials like me, then yep, this is great news. Number 5. Warp Whistle Totem We also have this new thingy. You can place it anywhere, and when you play your flute, you'd get teleported to wherever you place the totem. Number 6. Holo Day Event We're getting holo potions again tomorrow. This worked just like the last Halloween event, and it basically increases your chance of finding shiny spirits in the wild. And for the highlight of this update, we have the Infinite Dungeon! The dungeon that is infinite! You can unlock this by finishing all of the dungeons in-game. It has two maps, one map for battle and one for rewards. For the battle maps, you just have to defeat a party of spirits to unlock the next floor. There are mini boss fights at the 5's floor, so it's in floor 5, 15, 25, 35, and so on. While actual boss floors will be on 10's, so floor 10, 20, 30, and so on will have bosses. Reward maps on the other hand always spawn right after the boss room floors, so this means that you can get rewards at floor 11, 21, 31, and so on. But there are also common chest rewards at every floor. More information and tips about this dungeon will be uploaded this week, and if you are wondering how I got to floor 100 plus in a single run, then like and subscribe for more Moonstone Island videos coming your way. And that's it for now, super thanks to our channel members as always, and have a happy happy holiday my dear humans! Bye bye